and to configure the tunnel you have to give interface tunnel number zero or you can give it any let's get let's go at it back again interface tunnel so you can give it any number from zero to a lot of numbers <laughs> so you can create a lot lots and lots of tunnels okay so the only thing that needs to happen is that when you configure site B remember that you configure inside a you configure tunnel zero otherwise it won't work okay so now for here we have to give an IP address and that IP address that we're going to give it is going to be 192.168.30.1.30.1.30 okay then after that we have to give it a source tunnel source um, and the source of this tunnel is going to be gigabit um, gigabit zero one okay gigabit zero one tunnel destination and now the destination is going to be 10.10.10.10.10.40.1 and then tunnel and then for the tunnel I believe is tunnel mode the mode is going to be GRE IP there we go so the tunnel is all configured inside A. Now let's go ahead and configure inside B. Although we have side B, where is side B? It should be right here. All right. So let's go ahead and exit. Go ahead and interface tunnel. What's the tunnel? Uh, the number of it is number zero because that's the same one that we configure in router side A. And let's go ahead and give an IP address of 192.168.30.2. Two five two, and then tunnel source is going to be gigabit zero zero, which is this one right here. Okay, and then the tunnel tunnel destination is going to be ten dot ten dot ten dot one, I believe ten dot ten dot ten dot one. Yep, ten dot ten dot ten dot one. That's the um, destination of it, and then. The tunnel mode is GRE, GRE IP. Okay, that's up and running. So let's see if we are able to still ping from PC2. If we are able to ping PC1, so let's go ahead to PC2 and ping PC1. There we go. So we are able to ping it. Try it again. Why would you ping it? Let's go ahead and trace now. And we are still going to this. We are still going to the public web, as you can see right here. So 10.10.40.2, it is going that way. So what you could do, let's see if we have to put it in OSPF. So let's go ahead to router B. Um, which is side B which is over here so let's go ahead to router OSPF OSPF 1 let's add a network over here 192.168.30.0 3 area of 0 let's go ahead and do the same over here which is um, side A so let's go to side A that's it. Router OSPF one network one eight two that one six eight that thirty that zero three area of zero. Okay, up and running. Let's go ahead. The tunnel is up and running, as you can see right here. The tunnel. Okay, so let's see 
if from PC2. Or this PC2 over right here. Let's see if we're able to still ping PC1. And we are. Let's see if we can trace and see where it's going to take us now. And you can see right here, it's still taking us that way. Okay, so it's still taking us to the clearing edge or to the public. And you don't want that. You want it to go to do side to side. So one thing that you can do is, for instance, let's go ahead to side A. And over here, what we need to tell it is configure a IP or set IP. Um, let me see if I remember correctly. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, so IP route. Okay, IP route. So we're going to configure an static um, IP. So from side A, I want to, if anybody is going from Or if you want to go if from side A, we want to go to that twenty dot one two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. I want you to send it via the tunnel, which which is one ninety two one six eight dot thirty dot two. So send inconsistent address and subnet mask hmm let's see do a question mark over here 255 255 0 so it is asking telling me all this so let's see following address and I added 192.168.30.2 Destination metric Let's give it a 1 Still saying that for some reason So IP route 192.168 Okay, so this is the error right here It needs to be that 0 There we go so if from side A we want to go to the 192.168.20.0 network then I want you to send it to the VPN tunnel so I want you to go through the VPN instead of going to the public network alright so let's go ahead and do the same as router B so what we want you to do is if anybody from this router wants to go to side A I want you to send it to the tunnel. So let's go ahead and exit. IP route 192.168.10.0. Send it to the tunnel. Okay. So let's go ahead and see if we um, from PC2. Where's PC2 over here? Let's go ahead and ping. See if we're still able to ping um, computer one. That you can see right here, we're able to ping and get a reply. Let's see if we do a trace. What happens if we do a trace now? You see what's going on now? What's happening is we are going to the default gateway. Of course, we go to the default gateway because we are trying to ping a network that is not in our, in our network. And what it's doing is it's sending it to the VPN tunnel. And that's how it works okay so now we're not as you can see before we configure the tunnel we were going to the default gateway then we were going to to the 40 network to the 30 network to the 20 network and then to the 10 network which is in side a but now since we configure the tunnel what we're doing is we're going to the default gateway and then we're sending it via the VPN tunnel okay so this is it for this video guys um, if you guys enjoy it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have a Twitter account, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter at 68 Daily Tips. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.